Welcome to Arcs of UDP video learning series. In this video, we will discuss how to create a SharePoint online backup plan and also how to add SharePoint online node. The SharePoint protection online is used to backup and restore Microsoft SharePoint online site and list item. To protect SharePoint online content, we need to create a backup plan. To perform backup, we must meet some prerequisites such as we have the SharePoint site collection URL to backup. The backup account is a member of site collection administrators and site collection owners group. Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0 or higher is installed on the proxy server that is a 64-bit computer. To start creating a new plan, we need to start from the Resources tab of the Arcs of UDP console. From the left pane, navigate to Plans and click All Plans. We can view all existing plans on the center pane. From the center pane, click Add a Plan. The Add a Plan dialog opens that helps us create the new plan. Enter a plan name. The plan does not run if we select the checkbox of Pause this plan. We need to clear the checkbox to resume the plan. From the Task Type drop-down list, Select Backup Office 365 SharePoint Online. The options to specify source, destination, schedule and advanced appear. Source and destination are mandatory tabs. Let us click the Source tab. The Source page lets us specify the SharePoint Online Source nodes that we want to protect. We can select more than one SharePoint Online Source nodes in a plan. The Source tab lets us add Backup Proxy and SharePoint Online Source node to the plan. First, we need to provide a backup proxy. All SharePoint Online backups and restores are executed from the backup proxy. The RPS servers are listed and added by default. We can either add a new backup proxy by clicking Add or else select from the available backup proxy displayed in the drop-down option. Let us add a new backup proxy. We need to provide host name or IP address and related user credentials to add the backup proxy. With backup proxy added, let us provide the SharePoint online source node. Click Add. Remember, we can save a plan without adding any source nodes, but the plan is not deployed unless we add a SharePoint online node. Again, like backup proxy, we can either select source node from already added nodes if we have added SharePoint online source node before, or else we can add a new SharePoint online source node. Let us add a new one. From the two options displayed after clicking Add, click Add SharePoint online source. We cannot add SharePoint Online nodes directly from the Resource tab unlike other nodes in Arcs of UDP. First, we need to add nodes directly in the SharePoint Online backup plan and then the SharePoint Online node is added to all the nodes view directly and we can manage these nodes using the Resource tab. In Add Nodes to Plan dialog, enter the username of SharePoint node name and enter the site collection URL. Also provide site owner username and password that you can update later if you want to update the node. Then click Connect. Now let us select SharePoint list or library or list items to protect. Arcs of UDP protects only SharePoint online list, libraries and documents. Click save. On the source, we can view the selected SharePoint online source account added as a SharePoint online source node. To manage SharePoint online node, we need to access the node from the resource tab and right click the node name to get update or delete option. Now we need to add destination for the plan to specify a location to store the backup data. We need to click the destination tab. Arcs of UDP recovery point server specifies that the backup destination is a recovery point server. Select a recovery point server. Select a non-deduplication or deduplication data store. The session password is optional when the backup destination is an unencrypted RPS data store. Let us add now a schedule. We can customize and add multiple schedules for the plan as per requirement. Now we can either further customize the plan requirements by clicking the Advanced tab or else just click Save to deploy the plan. For details on Schedule and Advanced, view related topics in Arcs of UDP Solutions Guide. The plan is created and visible under All Plans from the Resource tab. Now you can restore the plan after completion of first full backup. 